Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is how to create a quiz app in Unity and welcome to episode 11. This tutorial we are going to create the ability to save and load our high score. Don't forget, click the subscribe button and click on the bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial in this series and everything else on game development on my channel. With that in mind, let's get to work. So saving and loading a high score is all done in Unity via something called player prefs. A player pref is a way of storing information even when the application or the executable has been closed and restarted. So essentially, if our best score is, let's say, 20, and we end up getting 25, we want to be able to save that best score as soon as we get it. So as if we fail the quiz and start again, our best score will be maintained. So let's go to our answer buttons. And what we're going to do is create another variable in here, which is going to be our high score. Now, I know it seems a bit backwards the way we're going to do this, or it will seem backwards when we do it, but we're going to sort the loading before we sort the saving. I know it seems crazy, but it's just the way it works and it's much easier in the long run. So let's create another variable just below here. So public int and we'll say best score. So the best score is going to be whatever it is when we load it up. So we are going to need void start because we need it to load as soon as the game starts. So void start and also we only need it to run the once at this point. Uh, it doesn't need to be private and we're gonna say best score equals player prefs and it's a capital P on both player and prefs dot get int so basically what we're seeing here is we're getting an integer out of a player pref and in brackets and quotes the name of the player pref you want to store your high score so let's call it best score quiz quote close bracket semicolon so at this point we have retrieved whatever is stored inside best score quiz now we need somewhere to display it. So let's say as another variable public game object best display semicolon. And obviously, because we've done it before, we know how we can display that on the screen itself just by saying best display dot get component and in spiky brackets text. Oh, close bracket dot text equals best colon space quote and then plus best score so we're saying here our best score is whatever was inside that player pref so it's loaded that player pref there that's all there is for loading just those two lines of code to load and display on the screen it's as easy as that the trick is how do we save this best score? Well, we have to use a bit of math here because we have to establish if our current score is better than our best score. And if it is, then save it. If it isn't, just carry on as normal. And that can be done all below. So down here where we have next question, before we have actually uh, done any of this, so remember that we have actually added our value here. So before we actually wait for the two seconds, let's use that two seconds to quickly save our best score if it is indeed the best score. So if, and in brackets, best score is lower than, and that is the arrow facing to the left, that means lower than, we don't need to have equal to because there's no point overwriting the best score with the current score. It's always got to be lower. So if best score is lower than score value, that means we have just achieved a best score. So that means we can put into the player pref the score value. So let's say, whoops, player prefs dot set int, not get, it's now set because we're setting a value inside it. And then in the actual brackets themselves, you need to put the name of that player pref. Now, what I always do 
is I copy and paste whatever the name is. It's important to get it exactly right. If you don't get it exactly right, you run the risk of it not working because if, for example, this says best score quiz and the one below says best score quiz with two Zs, it's not going to work because it'll be a mismatch. So I always paste just so as I know it's going to be correct. And then after the comma, we tell it what value we want to put inside that player pref. So in this case, we want to put score value in there. Like so. So that basically says that if our score value is greater than best score, so best score lower than score value, it means that we're going to put whatever is in score value into best score quiz. And at the same time, I think we probably should also update the best score value on our screen because you don't want to have your current score as like 30, but your best still says 15 or something like that. So we need to make sure that that is also updated. And the great thing we can do there is we can say this line right here. So let's copy this line of code. Let's head down to the bottom. And let's place it below, but instead of it being best score, we will have score value and save. So now what we've done is a couple of lines to save the score and a couple of lines to load the score. So even when we stop the application running or anything like that, it will retain the high score because it's inside a player pref. And I suppose you can think of player pref as maybe like an external variable. So Let's head back into Unity. Let's go to Master Control because we have to adjust this here. So the best display, uh, which is high score, goes onto there. Remember high score is that one over there that says best. So now let's press play. Obviously they will both load as zero. So let's say lots and lots. And you can see our best has indeed updated to five. Uh, let's get this wrong. Oh, that's no good. But let's get this one right again. Our best still says five. How old's the world? Six months. So we've lost again. So if we stop and then reload the game, the best will load as five. It will remember what we've done. So let's try and get another best score. Mario. Where is Japan? It's in Asia. So you can see both have updated. We've now got our best score. So it's on 15, it's on 20. So let's get the next one wrong. Oh, never mind. So let's get this one correct. And you can see that that best doesn't change. It's still sitting there. Oh, okay, so we do have a bug there. Right, I had a feeling that might happen. Uh, so our best has been erased there. So. Let's work out what went wrong. So what we're saying is that down here, we're basically saying that uh, the best score and score value have gone astray. So we now need to debug this a little bit and see what exactly has happened because ultimately this should always uh, be the case. I think it could be to do with the fact that we use the best score to overwrite. So let's think of a good way around this. Um, so score value. Right, so if we get one wrong, this is where it can go astray, I think. So let's actually reload it and see what the best loads as. So it does indeed save it. So let's quickly backtrack. So this bit doesn't need to, we don't need to worry about that because we know that works. This updates our score, so that's fine. Come down here, and this updates. Okay, so I don't quite see why that should have done that, but what we'll do is if we click on Master Control, we can watch these values down here change. So best score is 10, there we go. So lots and lots. Vegas, so we're on 10. So now it should 
save. Right, so best score is currently set as 10. So that ultimately means we found what the problem is. If we look down here, these two scores should now match. It means that inside our script for the answer buttons, we have to make best score equal to score value right here. So best score equals score value and save. So that's the reason that that has happened. We have missed off the fact that we need to make the best score the same score value rather than just update it. So now that will eliminate any errors that we get within the game. Let's give it a quick test to make sure that that is all okay. So Vegas, uh, lots and lots, uh, still lots and lots because it's the same question again. Uh, we've got the same question. Okay, so we're on 20. Let's get this wrong. And let's get this one correct. And let's get the next one correct. Excellent. So that bug has now been fixed. And if we quit out, restart, we should be able to see best is 20. So now we have our saving and loading all working. So next tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to create a visual question. So we're going to have something appear on screen um, to say, you know, what is this related to? And then you're able to answer A, B, C or D. So it's not just a text question. It's a bit visual as well. And we might play around with a tiny bit of animation just for good measure. So until that next tutorial, thanks very much for watching, guys.